Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm giving you guys a London themed vlog So I'm basically just gonna be vlogging random days of things that I'm doing in London spread across like a month <laughs> And today we're going to Buckingham Palace, which I know is quite strange But we wanted to do touristy things because we forget that we actually live in London So we wanted to like actually see the city and I wanted to show you just other random bits and bobs That you can do around London for people who are also students and just want to see like how to make your weekends full of things to do And they're all going to be affordable I'm going to make sure of that because me as a student and lots of other students We can't afford to do all the expensive like London experiences I'm going to show you guys my outfit actually So my top is from Urban Outfitters My jacket's from Urban Outfitters I've got a necklace that my boyfriend's made me It's got like three little heart lockets on i got silver hoop earrings in misguided mum jeans and white air forces and that's my outfit come on this little journey with me i also have a taylor swift themed tote bag that is from etsy and tv welcome to my crib <laughs> i'm trying to get the angles guys we're not getting shot whoa this is lit <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> imagine living here though, dead ass. Imagine living here guys and then seeing all of those people outside of your house every oh, single day. Really, she's just staring, aren't I swear she can't live here because she'd be living every single day of her life with hundreds of people just watching her. Are they made after nutcrackers? Made. Made. They made. I mean, and the nutcrackers made after them. <laughs> <laughs> he just did something. He's just marching by himself. Where's he going? Oh my god, that's sick. Guys, we're getting it in action. Transition. Oh, he's going back. Why is he doing that? <laughs> I wonder if they like discuss like, how their day was afterwards, like their shift. Like this guy's like, oh yeah. mate, I had to start moving up and down because I was getting so cold. And the other guys are, like, that's pretty chill too far. I was just listening to some tunes on my AirPods. Yeah, they could, they could put AirPods in their hats, you know. I want to know what's happening in each room. I want to go inside. I feel like a lot of people do, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. People literally could just be taking piss out of him all day and he's just a better I know, but like, I don't understand why they do it. Are they trying to be threatening? Wait, surely if they want to see a threat, how are they meant to see it? They got those things over his eyes. Let's move further along. Yeah. Hello. Right. They got their priorities straight. They had no tables to the side of the bar, we feel so grown up right now. Oh! Oh! oh. Someone to call my own, counting down the days, wiping the tears away. There's nothing I wouldn't do. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed it. I really like going to Buckingham Palace. It felt very touristy of us. It's like weird when I actually think about it, how I literally live four stops away from Buckingham Palace. Like what? That's so weird to me. You just forget to like appreciate London when you're actually living in London. So it's kind of cool to see Buckingham Palace and that place builds was so nice like the food was really really good the only thing is, is if you guys do want to go is that they automatically put on a service charge i think our service charge was like three pound forty so my total came to like 17 pounds something which just felt so expensive but the food was really nice the experience was nice so yeah i really enjoyed bills i would definitely go back and then afterwards we went back to my friend's flat and we watched movies and stuff and just chilled there until like 1am which it is now 1am but because this is a very like london driven vlog i didn't vlog when i was at my friend's flat i'll see you guys in my next day i don't know when my next day will be my total of my day came to 22 slash 23 pound but again cut out the coke and your meal was 12 pounds something and also they added a surface charge that was my day and i'll see you guys in my next one hi everyone today we are going to the theater to watch our teacher do a show so i thought i'd take you guys along with me because it is something to do in london and i'm really really excited because most of our class is going and i really get along with my class but i see bits of people like outside of uni and we haven't really gone with like the majority of us going to the same place and the majority of us are actually going to watch the show tonight and I'm so excited, so let's go. This is the leader of our group. He's going to get us on the tube safely. Who, Ben? I think they're the worst people to get you They really are the worst people, but look at them go. <laughs> You're short. <laughs> yeah. I just kept looking at my... Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is the aftermath of all of us watching the show. Everyone's just processing. He was astonished. And then boom. That's what I'm saying. And it was so small, but it was like that's what I'm saying. The little changes, and you can tell each of the fucking characters. I'm so sick. It took me a while to understand the. We've been taught by her. No, I got it straight away. If you. That's oh, bro, I want to impress her. I want to impress her. Fuck out of I want to do one of these. This sounds fun. Can we tell how much lines that is? That's so many lines. I know, that's what I'm saying. No, it's two weeks. That's an hour of lines in two weeks. Do you know what that is? Two weeks? Two weeks? That's an hour line monologue. And developing. Yeah. Two weeks. No, two staging, weeks, we learn the lines, and then like staging. No, but it so You can't do all that staging and everything without knowing the lines. So she's pretty much done that in less than a month. Yeah. All of that. All she had was a stool and three pieces of clothing and a blanket. Yeah, for real. What? She had a stool, a hoodie, a cardigan, and a blanket. And a pillow. And a pillow. And a, pillow. And a chocolate bar. And she, and she made like me laugh, cry. Seconds. And a kit. Bro, that like Kit Kat. <laughs> yeah. No, I would have been like. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Sarah, that other half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 it looked all melted and like, like it's been under that pillow for ages. <laughs> yeah, right? It's probably melted. Do you know what the, the only word is like? Flabbergasted. You know the, you know the, the part that got me the most. Me, like I'm, the part that got me the most. Probably the when she said that, like she went to bed. And then her dad cleaned. Oh, yeah. yeah. That when she was like doing, when she was doing this. When she was like, yeah, and she was doing that, I was like, 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 <laughs> so, Lainey, what did you think? I'm speechless. I'm, I can't say that was actually uh, incredible. Wait, like, genuinely is that, insane. Uh, famous YouTuber, it's um, it was Abu, what did you think? It was fantastic. 10 out of 10. He said, oh, it's Angela. Angela, what do you want? I'm so. Jay, you can finally eat your crisps. I couldn't even finish them, bro. Lewis. Langton. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Langton Road. This is next to the theatre. This is fate. This is meant to you be. You were meant to see this. Bro. Oh. A video. Oh my god. Langton. Wait, wait. No, wow. Wow. <laughs> no, I think the funniest part Road. of this is I the fact that believe. everyone's taken a photo. I can't believe this exists. <laughs> Bro. Showing the... Why is it... <laughs> Right guys, I'm very excited for today because today we're going to our friend's drag show and I've never been to a drag show before and I was like, what do I wear at a drag show? 
and then he was just like oh whatever and i don't know what that means so i'm going for like a very like nighttime look so i've got like these hot pink earrings in that like fruit teas i think fruit tea earrings i've got like a little straw and stuff and i've got like hot pink nails and i've got like this little crop top and some mum jeans i'm just gonna have some leftover pasta now to be honest because i don't know when we're gonna be going out for food so i'm just gonna have some pasta it's only like half four then I'm gonna go upstairs to my friend's flat and then we're gonna leave at six-ish to get there for 7.30. I'm so excited. My first drag show. And I absolutely love drag. Binge watch RuPaul's Drag Race and the fact that I know a drag queen myself. <laughs> I'm just really excited to watch him perform and I'm so proud of him. Even though he's done this before, he even knew me, but I'm just proud. Just that I can look at him and be like, oh my God, that's my friend up there. How crazy is that? So yeah, this is my outfit just to see a bit better. Obviously not the sliders. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, nah, just the mum jeans and then the little crop. But yeah, very excited. Yeah, the toilets. I don't know why I'm documenting this, but I just thought they looked cool. How excited are you guys? I'm so excited. Guys, can We're currently in a toilet. To the toilet. Um, as you can see, it says love. You know? I just love. Classy, I, know. I love that. You just love me. I love that. Well, look, help so yourselves. <laughs> Add tampons, condoms. Under the sink. Look like my grinder. I'm the queen of the castle. 
Josh is just big time. You know, Josh is just too big time for us. Do you want to be the snowman? Come on, let's get a play. Sauce, fries, right guys, we finally have our Mackies and we got back from the drag show and it was really, really good. It was so much fun. Um, Lewis's reactions were amazing. <laughs> he was mostly just like, he was basically just drooling at what he witnessed. I was not even true. I was just flabbergasted. And start footage now. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have a Mackies and just stay in for the rest of the evening. So I'll see you guys in the next time I go out and do something in London. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and it's a brand new Hello everyone, it's a brand new day. Yesterday I was at the drag show and it was honestly amazing. I didn't really talk about it much, but oh my gosh, it was so so incredible. Like I would definitely go to another drag show. It was so much fun and also the host called me out because I was screaming my friend's drag name and I was like, Chatrice, Chatrice, whatever, like saying how excited I was. She was like, you do realize that I'm right here and I can hear you, you don't need to be screaming at me, we're not on TV. Um, and I laughed and then um, she asked what my name was 
and I was like Jaylan and then she was like everyone say hi Jaylan so everyone was like hi Jaylan and I was like ah I was like freaking out but I was so excited and I was screaming like my throat hurts a lot but today we're going to Europe's biggest bookstore Waterstones in Piccadilly and I'm very very excited I've got into books a lot more recently and I've asked for some books for my birthday so I'm not going to get any books today like maybe one at the most but we're also going to Shake Shack which is quite expensive and obviously I got the Mackies last night and we had to Uber to the drag show and Uber back so I kind of don't want to spend a lot of money to be honest with you all but I'm just gonna see what happens you know just see if there's anything that i pick up there's something that i pick up so i'm gonna just get myself some breakfast and then i'm gonna go meet my friend downstairs and we're gonna head to waterstones and i'm very excited i've seen this all over tiktok and i can't wait The ten pounds that me and Eleni were alive for is it's now, now antique. <laughs> antique. You can get it for fifteen pounds. <laughs> me the aspiring acting career <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the Waterstones in Piccadilly was actually kind of disappointing. I don't know if it was just like the time we went, but there weren't a lot of books that I was actually interested in, to be honest. I'm thinking about how many floors there were. There were probably only four books that I actually took photos of that I'd be interested in getting. And also we really liked romance fiction and that was like probably the smallest section they had. Like it was a very, very tiny part on one floor like shoved in the corner so it was a bit like oh like we expected so much more but then again we might have just gone on the wrong day at the wrong time but all in all it was like a nice experience like going through all of the floors because there were just so many books just the atmosphere is really nice like the area itself you guys all enjoyed today's video it was like very random of bits and bobs i've been wanting to do this video for ages and like get it out to you guys but i've had all my birthday content in between so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i will see you guys all in my next video Oh, oh, oh.